Hello everyone, Oli number 5 here, and today I'm going to bring you an NPC guide on Grey Rat the Thief, or Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement. So, first off, to find Grey Rat, head to this area down here from the high wall of Lothric area, just past where you first encountered the dragon. After you've found Grey Rat in his cell, you'll want to proceed back up this pathway. Take out all the enemies in this area, and make sure to grab the Crystal Lizard if you haven't done so already. Then head into this room here, and defeat the Lothric Knight with the shield. After he's taken care of, proceed down this pathway here, being careful not to get ambushed by the enemies along the way. Once you've cleared out this room here, which could take a while, make sure you pick up your Esther Shard, finish clearing out the enemies, then head down the staircase here to grab Grey Rat's cell key. Once you've got the cell key, head back and release Grey Rat. He'll thank you for freeing him and offer to serve you if you agree to go and search for someone in the undead settlement for him. As you probably know by now, the Undead Settlement is the area just after you've defeated your first boss, Vault of the Boreal Valley. Once you free Grey Rat, even if you haven't f fulfilled his request yet, you can find him at the Firelink Shrine where he's become a merchant. He sells a few handy items just like the Handmaiden, however some of them are a bit cheaper with Grey Rat. After you've reached your first bonfire after defeating Vault, follow this path ahead to find Loretta's Bow. It turns out the person Grey Rat wanted you to find is already dead. After you've got Loretta's bone, head back to Grey Rat and present the bone to him. He'll be upset she's dead and let you keep the Tearstone ring he gave you. If at this point you refresh Firelink Shrine and come back to him, he'll be killed up and repeat the same line of dialogue over and over again. If you haven't got the emote to curl up, this is where you'll get it also. Now from here on is where things can get slightly tricky. Grey Rat, after you return and come back yet again, will request to leave and pillage goods for you, in return for doing him a favour. The first time he asks, he will leave Firelink Shrine until you have defeated a boss, at which point he will return with a new lot of inventory. Now this is where things will get tricky. After you have crossed the bridge between the Catacombs and the Boreal Valley, Grey Rat, if you return to Firelink Shrine, will ask you to go for a second time. Now, in order for Grey Rat to return with some new goods instead of dying, you'll need to follow one of two other NPCs' quest lines. The easiest of one is to have Unbreakable Patches help him out. Unbreakable Patches will show, show up at Firelink Shrine after you've explored the tower for the second time. He will lock you in and upon escaping you can confront him as a, and forgive him. Then he will become a merchant. While he is a merchant, if you send Grey Rat off onto his second trip and then tell Patches where he went, Patches will go and save him. Now, there is only one other way to make Grey Rat survive this ordeal. If you have followed Siegward of Katarina's quest line, you will eventually find him at the bottom of a well without any clothes. You'll then need to follow Patches' quest line, and then when Patches is a merchant, you will need to purchase the armor of Siegward off him, throw the armor down the well for Siegward, and then tell him where Grey Rat has gone. If you do either of these two things before you have done the boss fight Pontiff Sullivan, so that's the first boss, the one who can turn himself into a shadow when you enter Irithyll. If you do all of those steps, Grey Rat will return again with a new lot of inventory. 
Grey Rat will then later on again ask you to go out for a third time. There is no way to save him. If you send him out a third time, he will die. However, since he can never return from his third trip, you can send him out anyway, since you can collect his ashes, return them to the Handmaiden, who will then sell all of his things, two new additional types of bolts, presumably something he found at Lothran Castle, and will sell, sell the things that she used to sell as well as him at his reduced price rather than her slightly more expensive price. Um, something to watch out for if Patches and Grey Rat are in Fire Link Shrine at the same time. Since Patches owes Grey Rat a favour, if you hurt uh, Grey Rat, Patches will become hostile towards you. So that's worth noting. Um, other than that, I think this just about sums up everything there is to know about Grey Rat the Thief. May he rest in peace. Anyway, thanks very much for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a like. It does help me out a lot. Feel free to leave a comment if you've got any questions, and I'll see you next time.